Como ustedes saben, el honrar a nuestros ancestros, ancestros no nada más se hace por medio de ofrendas al estilo mexicano. Los retablos también son maneras de honrar a las personas que amamos. Y si tienen la oportunidad de hacer uno, simplemente tienen que añadir las cosas que representan a la persona y que los hace recordar con mucho cariño todo el tiempo. This is not only a tradition of Mexico offering um, something to our ancestors as celebrating their lives, but it is also a tradition that it has been celebrated all throughout the world. And it is very easy to do your own retablo at home. You can just put all of the things that the person loved, the things that were important to them, and that will help you remember them and remind them that you are always thinking of them, that you love them, and they are always present in our lives. Hi, my name is Angel Walker, and this is my um, altar for Dia de los Muertos. And I am representing my mother-in-law who passed away uh, of, from ovarian cancer back in, or actually in May of 2020. Um, so this is all dedicated to her, the items that she likes. Um, I made this Katrina, it took me about four months to, to make it. I did pa paper mache, and then um, it took a couple of different uh, times to, to get it just right. My mother-in-law was a big, big book reader. She loved to read. This was one of her books. Um, she loved tea, so I put uh, a sample of her favorite tea there. She enjoyed cats, the salt, uh, water for her journey here. Um, and so she was, this was also one of the things it does represent is all women who have passed away from ovarian, cervical, breast cancer. Um, and so all of the colors are used for the ribbons of certain cancers. Rotablo is like a little altar. Um, some are used for mostly religious, but over the years, um, it kind of can be an altar for Dia de los Muertos. We put a picture in it, uh, some candles, some different items they hang on the wall or they can sit on a dresser just a reminder of those who have passed on they can be year-round for for uh for religious um if you're you're very religious you you can have them year-round i make them more for dia de los muertos they're just small little wooden uh, boxes that you can set up and you can decorate however you want you can put them on a buffet Uh, they can really go anywhere. You can hang them up, you can put them on a buffet, you can um, put them on a dresser. It's wherever you want to remember that person. You know, if it's something, someone you're very close to, you can put it on your dresser so every morning when you see it, it reminds you of that person. Or you can bring them out on certain occasions, Christmas, holidays, or Dia de los Muertos. Um, they go anywhere, actually. Maybe if you're not interested in building an altar this year, you can always Um, do a retablo, which are fairly small. They could be wooden. You could even make them out of a little, you know, cardboard box if you'd like, uh, and paint it up. So that's a way you can also honor your your family.